weddings are one of life's greatest milestones, and I truly can't think of a more beautiful or fitting venue, as hot as it is, <laughs> to witness John and Kate mark the beginning of their life together as partners. While John and Kate are here today to make the ultimate commitment to each other, you are all here because they consider you an integral part of their lives, and they're overjoyed you're able to share this moment with them. <clears throat> For those who don't know me, my name is Brandon LeBoy, and I have the honor and privilege of being married to Kate's sister, Sarah. Kate is truly the sister I never had, and I feel so lucky that we've developed such a close relationship. In fact, I was the first person in the family Kate told about John. <laughs> On a vacation in 2015, Kate pulled me aside to disclose she'd started dating someone. Even then, I could tell by the joy and excitement in her voice that this guy may one day end up my brother-in-law. It's been great getting to know John the past couple of years and watching them grow both individually and as a couple. I'm incredibly touched that you've asked me to be such an important part of this day. I want to thank you both. John and Kate, before we move forward, I want to encourage you both to take a moment. Look into each other's eyes and feel the energy of your family and closest friends right here, supporting you with full hearts. In a few short minutes, you will be walking back down the aisle. I promise, a few short minutes. <laughs> You'll be walking back down the aisle. Mr. and Mrs. Are you ready? Ready. Yeah. <laughs> Every couple has a story as unique as their relationship. If you ask John and Kate how they met, they may, may tell you it was in prison. <laughs> I was coming and she was going, John would say. They didn't actually meet in prison. Neither of them has even been to prison, as far as we know. I don't know why I'm looking at you, John. <laughs> like most 20-somethings these days, they met on a dating app and they both remember their first interaction being funny and feeling oddly familiar, in a way. John's first message simply said, KATE, in all caps. Kate responded, JOHN, also in all caps, thinking, do I know this <laughs> Did I meet him one night? <laughs> oh, how I've missed you. <laughs> Kate played along without missing a beat, and their banter continues to this day. On their first date, John convinced Kate to come to Annapolis one rainy Tuesday evening. In Kate fashion, she opted to drive herself in case she needed a quick getaway car. And what was meant to be a kind of a quick drink feeler day turned into five hours of easy conversation. Kate recalls a night spent at one of their favorite spots, the rooftop of her building Federal Hill. They were drinking whiskey and watching a meteor shower. And as the comets flew, <laughs> Kate says she started to feel different about John. The sparks clearly flew that night because the next day when John went back to work to dish about his date, he did so with stars in his eyes and his co-workers endearingly nicknamed Kate Meteor Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just last year, John and Kate made a bold cross-country move, road trip from right here in Alexandria to Los Angeles, California. Kate wanted to be closer to her newborn nephew, Miles. Shout out to the ring bearer who's sleeping. <laughs> a few months later, John channeled that special meteor date and proposed to Kate on the rooftop of their home in Playa del Rey with Milo and Nemo by their side. And here we all are today. It's clear Kate and John are deeply in love and have a profound mutual respect for one another. John appreciates Kate's kindness, whether it's towards a person she meets or any animal, regardless of violent <laughs> capability. Kate says John has helped her become more thoughtful and optimistic. She spends less time sweating the small stuff and admires how easygoing and adaptable John is. What I wish for you both on your wedding day is to never forget what initially drew you to each other or how you feel about one another right now in this very moment. Now, let's recite some vows. Woo! <laughs> John, you know I've been trying to fit Ariana Grande desperately into her <laughs> wedding, and I finally found how. To quote her, it's like I thought you into my life, and really I did. You are my everything, my life, my happiness, my personal comedian, and my rock. You're, you're truly just my happy place, my emotional support human, my best friend and fellow dog obsessor. <laughs> I never thought someone so perfect for me could exist. There's so much I could say about you and how much I love you, but it's so hard to keep it short. We're 
are so full of joy and the happiness that it's infectious. You are always, always making me laugh. And I promise to never complain about the laugh line wrinkles that I get from my life with you. <laughs> you are just the best person that I know. You're just a good person and a good man. And I love you so deeply. Since day one, I've never known how to say your name without a smile on my face. John, for the rest of our lives, that I promise to make you feel extraordinary every day. You do. To continue to be your biggest fan in everything that you do, to support you and love you, and always point out dogs nearby to you. <laughs> I love you and I like you now and for always. I promise to make you smile and laugh as much as possible whenever it's socially acceptable and appropriate. <laughs> I vow to encourage us to try to get out, do new things, whenever we actually want to turn off the TV and leave the couch. <sighs> I will always love you, and I promise to tell you multiple times a day, as much as you require. <laughs> a few times when I tell you I love you, you ask how much. I, I usually always reply, too much. <sighs> I love you. And I do try and say it as much as I can each day. I feel I still don't say it enough. I don't say it to fill a void. I don't say it to fill some silence or make conversation. I say it because I feel it. Because I know it, because if I didn't, I'd explode. That's what too much means to me. The overwhelming need and urge to tell you that I love you in that exact moment. Your kindness, your guidance, and your grace in all things has left me in too much love, and I wouldn't change a thing. I love you. John and Kate will now exchange rings as a symbol of the love and commitment they share with one another. Kate, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a daily reminder of my love yeah. for you. As a daily reminder for my love for you. And my commitment to you. And my commitment to you. John, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a daily reminder of my love for you. As a daily reminder of my love for you. And my commitment to you. My commitment to you. John and Kate, as you officially start your life together as husband and wife, always consider these qualities you admire about each other. Take joy in the small things. Slow down and be present for each other. From this day forward, you will face challenges together and you will work together to overcome those challenges. Marriage is one of the most powerful connections we can experience. It's hard. It's easy. It's fun. Sometimes it's not so. <laughs> but it's the love and promise you share with each other that will see you through the difficult times and make the good times that much sweeter. And with that, it is my distinct honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.